everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today is going to be a really awesome video because we're going to be sharing the whole adventure and everything that we did in order for Cordelia, our cat, to be toilet trained. Yay! I know that many of you guys have asked me because I share a little tiny clip, a short video about Cordelia, like 15 seconds or so of Cordelia, everything that she has been doing in order for her to actually be completely human cat toilet trained. And so now we're spilling the tea and giving you everything that we need to, we did in order for Cordelia to actually be human toilet trained. Now disclaimer, I am not imposing or suggesting that anybody should be doing this. We are sharing our adventure, our experience, our story about what we did in order for our cat to go from a litter box into then a toilet. I'm gonna put the kit that we use, I'm gonna put it in the description down below and also in the comment section and it's gonna be an affiliate link to Amazon so we might get a little commission out of it but it's not gonna be no extra fee to you and we already did the trouble of finding and looking out for all the different kits that is gonna be the best one and this is the best one and in our experience. So we use the City Kitty Cat Toilet Training and I'm gonna tell you all the details and we also use the flushable cat litter because you cannot use, of course, the normal cat litter. You need to use then the flushable cat litter. So, also because I know that there's gonna be the concern, am I affecting the environment? Of course, for people like me that they're always thinking about, hey, I wanna be more green and we're always trying to not use fertilizers and everything, you know that this is a lifestyle channel and we're always sharing stuff about gardening and decor and all kinds of stuff, right? So when we talk about gardening, I'm always trying to do everything in a way that we're saving the environment. Well, I feel and I think that we are actually saving the environment and helping the environment more by having Cordelia using the toilet than using the cat litter because when you're using the cat litter, if you think about it, you have that huge litter, which then you have, it's super stinky, it harvest, it's gonna be harvesting a lot, you know, having a whole bunch of bacteria and parasites, toxoplasmosis and all that kind of stuff over there, which you're gonna be more prone to inhaling it and also all, um, uh, ingesting it whenever you're cleaning everything, because even though you clean your hands after, you know, scooping all the feces and urine, then of course you might be uh, more prone to still have some of those um, parasites, oocytes still in your body and then inhaling or um, ingesting that and then having then an infection in the future. So first we don't have to deal with that litter and we don't actually take that litter and then take it into the landfills, which that landfill then becomes a whole bunch of trash, gets accumulated, and that trash later on ends up then in the water, and that water as a cycle then can end up in the water, in the public water as well. So that's one of the things that we're not doing. And then of course, we are not um, having those bags because every time that you are, if you have a cat litter, in a cat litter, you're gonna be also then taking the, the feces or the urine. If you're using the, the, the cat litter that has clumps, to make clumps when every, the, whenever the cat pees, which is the one that we were using before. Then of course, you're gonna be taking uh, the bag multiple times a day, twice a day is what we used to do with Cordelia. And that's gonna be then a bag, a plastic bag with a whole bunch of feces and then also the cat litter and of course then the urine and all that again ending in the landfills making them more trash then making them more pollutants because those are going to be then extra gases that are going to be um, you know mixing up with other trash creating them more contaminant bacteria and more crazy you know stuff so that's going to end up again into the water and it's going to be harmful so all of that if we had Cordelia as the what the usual household does of having then the cat using the cat litter, then of course we would be creating and you know not helping the environment as much because we're just polluting the environment with all of that trash that we're gonna be creating every single time. Um, but now with the Cordelia using the toilet, I know that there might be the concern of hey, but then that that bacteria of her feces and uh, um, the parasites that usually they carry as well, the toxoplasma, then that can end up in the in the toilet, in the, from the toilet, they're getting in the water, and that water can actually end up in a public water. But we don't use a public water. 
we have our own septic tank so whenever you flush the toilet that ends up in our yard in the underground in a septic tank that then goes through a pipe and disseminates into our garden so it's not and in our garden we don't use any fertilizers pollutants or anything like that toxic um, agents but of course our the neighbors and everybody around us does so you can only control as much as you can control so um, we are minimizing us having a negative impact into the world and then we don't use the same water because we have also a well tank that is another hole all the way into the front of the yard and that's what provides them the water for us to drink or to wash or whatever right so that's to clear out any questions that might be about how it might be impacting the world how it might be impacting then you know the environment so I explained that and we have actually more benefits with this. Now disclaimer, of course, I'm not gonna be forcing Cordelia into using the toilet. If Cordelia, for whatever reason, were to at some point not like the toilet or when we were doing the training, she would not like using the toilet and be like very fuzzy and like, oh, I don't like this. Then of course we would have stopped and we had not done the training. But in our experience, Cordelia did super well and it was amazing. I mean, she was, she was a trooper. So um, we didn't have no negative experience. And of course, uh, but in the future, if she ever wants to stop, then of course we would stop and go the, into something more like the cat litter, but maybe some of those litter that is gonna be more environmentally friendly. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys um, our tips and tricks and how is it that we actually got Cordelia into using the toilet. And then I'm gonna then sh um, share just, you know, the footage of everything that we capture of the process of Cordelia then using the so toilet. The first thing is to have the litter box in the bathroom when you will start the training. So when we adopted Cordelia, immediately we adopted Cordelia, we had this planter, look like a planter, like a plant pot, and that it was actually a cat litter box. And that cat litter box, we had it inside of the, the bathroom. And so Cordelia was already accustomed since they want to actually go into the bathroom to use the cat litter. We actually have in this house six different bathrooms. So we assigned that bathroom in the lower, in the first floor for Cordelia. So that bathroom, nobody uses that bathroom except for Cordelia. So that bathroom is for Cordelia. Now, if you're gonna be, you know, you need to share the bathroom, then try to keep it as clean as possible because cats, they're very sensitive to the sense of smell. So it does, and the smell also that there's your urine, your feces, or, you know, the, the, the soap, all that kind of stuff. If it's always there, then there might, they might be less prone to actually use the bathroom. Cordelia is very sensitive to smells and she actually likes to have the smell of, um, the the spray that is like you know for for odor for eliminating odor and or uh clorox or anything that is like a spray that we always use a spray to clean the surfaces and that tells her like that bathroom is clean so as long as she smells that she is okay so you know get to learn um, what is it that your cat likes what is it that your cat doesn't like and especially keep the environment clean and that will help so first of all, have a litter box inside of the bathroom before even doing the whole training. Of course, if you have any issues in the, with talking about feces or urine or anything like that, please do not watch this video because in this video, we will be mentioning and showing feces and urine and talking about feces and urine. So wrapping it up back again. The second, it will be then to use the bathroom in front of your cat. That's not something for everybody, but for me, I know that Cordelia would follow me anywhere, wherever I would go. I would go to the kitchen, she would be there. I go to the office, she would be there. So I would go to the bathroom, she would be there. And I know that that actually beneficiated her to know that using the toilet, it is for using then the toilet to pee and to you know, do whatever other necessities. So I did use her bathroom a few times and then I let her actually go into whatever other bathroom was using to see as well, so she was she would be there and she would see me, so she would know that the toilet is for using such and for doing such and such thing. So that might be a good thing because they actually do learn a lot by seeing. And your third thing is once your cat is gonna be then accustomed to going to the bathroom, that you don't have to worry about telling them to go to the bathroom. They go by themselves. They're very confident. Then you go ahead and you buy the kit. So we're using the city 
kitty um, cat toilet training kit and so they bring different stuff you're gonna have then this thing which is the cat seat oh i have a little thing so it brings then this plastic container that you're gonna put on top of the toilet right and this is what we were using for cordelia and it brings also an extra ring that you can put in the center because this is what it had before this thing in the center and so that has four different rings so you can see i already had broken it before but it had four different rings and they go then from the center so it goes one two three four so you're gonna be removing the first one will be this in the center then you go then into the second then you go into the third and then you go into the fourth and then once the cat is accustomed to it the cat will only be having then this ring once you see that the cat is really accustomed to going into the toilet by itself then you remove the whole thing and the cat only uses then the toilet so that's what we did with cordelia and it was a great experience i mean cordelia behaved amazing you also are going to be using the flushable cat litter so the flushable cat litter it smells completely different than the other cat litter that you have used before so I suggest that a few days before starting the training of, um, you know, putting the, the um, kit on top of the toilet to actually in the cat litter box that you have to remove then all that cat litter that you had that you were using and then start using this in the cat litter box so that they get accustomed then to that scent. Of course, you don't want to, you know, use the whole thing, just use a little thing, a little bit so that they get accustomed then to that smell and then it will be easier to transition then into the toilet, which is what we did with Cordelia. The toilet lid that you had that covers the toilet completely, you should tape it then against the toilet back so that it never actually falls on your cat because your cat is gonna be jumping on top of the toilet or they're trying to scratch because it's a normal instinct to scratch whenever they use the, the bathroom to cover the feces or anything, and it will go away as you keep on using it, but at the beginning, it will be still there. So you wanna make sure that the cat, by moving, is not gonna then have that lid fall on them, and so that's really, really important to tape that lid against the, the back of the toilet. Also, clean after they use the toilet. So I mentioned that the cats are very sensitive to smell and the scent, you know, to scent, so you gotta be very, very careful whenever you you are um, you know, training them to actually clean after they have used the bathroom. Whenever you start, also this is another tip, whenever you start the training, it will be best for you to actually be there. So take a week or that time that you're gonna be on vacation, if you're gonna be you know, working the whole time and nobody's gonna be there to um, take care of the cat, it will not be appropriate in the best case scenario because the cat is gonna be super afraid, stressed, of this and it will be you know not a positive experience with Osprey Cordelia it was a very positive experience because we were with her all the time so she never felt afraid of like this is something like intrusive weird in here because we were always there and giving her a lot of positive reinforcement which is another tip so positive reinforcement you actually need to every time that she would do something we were like good job Cordelia good girl you're doing so good you know and that it motivates her and that's something that we whenever we're training her to do any any other activity we have always done that positive reinforcement so she knows that this is not something bad that this is something good but if she's by herself seeing this and doing all of this by herself i can see that it could stress any cat it's important for you to be there to dedicate some time for the cat for us with cordelia it actually took three months in order for her to be completely um, trained. So the benefit with us is that we, there's always one of us in the house working from home. So there's always either Justin or me that can take care of Cordelia. And Cordelia is super cool because at the beginning when she was going to the toilet, she would let us know that she needs to go to the toilet. We would know that she needs to go to the toilet because either she taps you or she has a mat that she scratches and that lets you know that she needs to go to the bathroom. So we would know um, different, you know, mannerisms that she does that we know that she needs to go to the bathroom. So get to know your cat and that would help tremendously. But if you're going to be doing this, of course, make sure that you have somebody that can be there with your cat. And then the last one is to just follow the instructions in the package. So in the package, it will tell you that 
once you start because it, it gives you this whole booklet when you get this it will give you all the different you know what you need to do step by step one two three all the way it will give you all the steps of what you need to do and it even brings also a little bag i was saying it's not a little it's a huge bag huge bag full of catnip but we have never used catnip with cordelia i don't believe in using catnip unless you actually need it that's more for like hyperactive cats you know um, that you want it to be more mellow because cordelia on her by herself she's really cute and mellow you know she actually follows commands very easily so she actually without even putting any catnip or nothing she actually jumped into the the toilet immediately to explore and all that stuff so and then right after she did that we actually put a little bit of that catnip on top of the toilet and she would just want to stay there and i'm like this is completely necessary i think that that would have been good if there's a cat that doesn't want to actually jump on the toilet and then you know explore and he has having is a little bit afraid of using the toilet then that would be appropriate then to actually put a little bit of that catnip to you know incentivize the cat to actually jump onto the toilet and to then explore but with cordelia there was no necessity at all so after that i never used catnip again because she was just acting so weird she was just you know turning and staying on the toilet and not moving at all and i'm like this is so weird you need to get out of there so yeah um, you know check your cat you will know your cat your best you are the mom and papa of the cat so you know your cat the we best. still whenever we travel and we are either traveling to another place like when we travel to puerto rico or if we're traveling by a car to another place we always carry this travel bag which actually this travel bag you know it's it can be super compact i've shown this to you with to you guys before in the video of how to travel so you can compact really small and that's what i love about it and i i also got this from amazon i believe i'm going to put in the link also for where we purchase it and you can actually then buy that if you like and then in here you can see that you know it's a big thing it's impermeable so you can watch it and keep on reusing it and in that and there that's where we put then the litter and that's what we use when we're going to be traveling for Cordelia. So Cordelia still uses some of the litter um, whenever we're traveling. And here is, here is the mama. Here is the baby girl. Right, Cordelia? So here is the mama, the baby girl, the princess of the house that we love so much. And she's so amazing. And she behaves so well. And she has been listening to everything because you are so good and I love you so much. So go ahead, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I love you all so, so, so much. Let's get out of here.
Good girl, Cordelia. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good job, baby girl. Good job. Cordelia. Good job, Cordelia. Good job. Good. Cordelia, you to use the bathroom? Come on. You to use the bathroom? I know you. I know that face of yours. Okay. You going in? Go over there. Good job. Good girl. Just pee. All set. Good, good, you can pick up the Good job, Cordelia. Good job. Good job, I know. Good job. Good girl, Cordelia. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Good job, Cordelia. Don't worry, I'll clean that for you.
You can go, baby girl. You can go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Let me use the bathroom and I'll go with you. Or you can go by yourself. Good girl. Good girl, Cordelia. Wow. Good job. <clears throat> Good girl, Cordelia. Good girl. Good job. Good job, Cordelia. Good job. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry, I'll clean it. Good girl, Cordelia. Good girl. Good job. Good job. I get it. Good girl. Okay. I didn't fall on there, but don't worry. I'll clean it. I got it. I got it. I know. I know. I got it. I got it. Good 
Good job, baby. Let me clean this up a little bit for you because I really you don't like this. Good girl, Cordelia. Good girl. Okay. Hold on. Good job. Good job, baby. That's your show. I'm using the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom at the same time? You put in? Yeah. Thank you. But I am using the bathroom. Once I'm done here, then we can go to your bathroom and you can use the bathroom. Yes, every time I'm using the toilet, you want to use the toilet too. You're so special. Uh-huh, I know, I get it. I'm almost done. Okay, I love you. Okay, okay, be done. Okay, okay, I love you, I love you. I'm going, wrapping it up. Damn it. Good job, baby girl. Good job. Okay. Good 
Good job.